Hello, hello, hello. VOD channel friends. Uh, yeah, this is part two. If you saw the first one, you're caught up on the lore. If you're not caught up on the lore, I have a link down below. If you do want to catch up and skip the first one entirely. Um, but we're doing more of our AI generated random stupid quest in Skyrim. I'll be back in two seconds because I need chapstick. I need to go get some chapstick real quick. <laughs> one sec, chat. All right, I'll be back. One sec. Ooh, see, I told y'all I'd be quick. Happy Friday. It's the weekend. How's everybody doing? I think you all know the deal. If you're in this stream right now, you're most likely all caught up. If you are not caught up and you want to catch up on everything that's going on before uh before the stream, exclamation point lore, people will likely ask about it. <laughs> Mick, what the hell? Did you see when I put that copy pasta into my chat when I was testing earlier? Good to see you though. Good to see you. There is a delay on it, so like if a bunch of people do exclamation point lore, they aren't going to all see it at the exact same time, or it's not just going to blow up the chat with all of their, um... Thank you, kind sir. All with the same link. Refuge, thank you very much for the tier one. Also, Violetta, or K Violetta, thank you very much. Alright, you, you watch yourself, wise guy. That's my copy pasta. I came up with it first. Alright? I think we'll give it a couple. Uh, I do. I have the next prompt written out of where we're going to take the story next. So I'll show you all that in a couple here. Very shortly. But I, I, I could I could also just sit here and say hi. Hello, Cassie. Froggy, nice to see you. How is everybody? Also, apologies again for starting the stream so late. It's just much easier for me if I wait until all the noise is gone upstairs. A greeting stream. Yes, we're going to do nothing but greeting this whole stream. Miller time. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. I don't know why this this song's so emotional. I feel I feel like I'm going on like this is nah, that's like end of the adventure type music. Oh, Moonshugger, congratulations on wasting 20,000 channel points on jack shit. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You lose. Just kidding, you win. Thank you, kind sir. Froggy, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you for saying screw you to the ads on Twitch and for supporting the channel. All right, uh, I guess there's no reason to keep holding off. Here's where we last left off. Here's where we are with the chat. If you remember how last time ended, we had to interrogate Rorik and his partner, Juan, both at Rorikstead. We interviewed them both. We interrogated them both. 
we ruled that Rorik was innocent, or at least Chat did, but then also that Joan was guilty. And we ended up ruling Joan guilty. We killed Joan in the middle of the street, so we now have a murder bounty in both Whiterun and in Riften. So I wrote up a prompt to throw back at ChatGPT to see if we can further the story a little bit or where it will take us. Um, because do we have we do have another objective right now? What's our other objective? We have two, or like a new one that we got. Oh, interrogate Rorik and his partner at Rorikstead. So I mean, right now, if we just returned to the Bannered Mare, we would complete all of our goals. But I want to see if this keeps going. That is the wrong window. That is my Steam page. Okay, so I have it typed out. I don't know. Maybe Rorik. It, it's possible that Rorik is guilty. It's absolutely very possible. So I, I wrote out in here to kind of update it on everything that happened. I want to give it as much detail as possible to see what it can extrapolate. So I said, I was tempted, I was tempted greatly by the loot of liars, but I was able to persevere and cast the loot into Lake Illinalta. After investigation, it was ruled that Rorik was innocent and Joanne was a silly goofy goofster. So he was placed on trial for collaboration with the evil accounting guild. I did as I had to and killed Juan in plain view of the townsfolk. The evil has been quelled briefly, but I'm still unsure of what my next steps should be, who may be behind all of this, and what my next objective is to stop the evil accounting guild. Can you help me understand some of this? That is, uh, that's where we're at. Hold on, I, let me double check this. I, th I think I have everything noted in there that's happened so far. We had the loot. It, it was tempting, but we did end up throwing it into the lake. Chat voted on that. Chat was, chat was kind of the uh, engineer to throwing it away. We ruled that Joan was goofy, a little bit silly. I threw a couple of random words in there to see how it plays with that. Uh, the evil has been quelled briefly, but I'm still unsure of what my next step should be, who may be behind all of this, and what my next objective is to stop the accounting guild. Can you help me understand some of this? And give me a new mission. All right. Let's see how it rolls. Uh, is there any way we can get rid of the pinned message that's up there, by the way? I don't know. For some reason, I can't get rid of shit on... I think it's because I'm using Opera GX. But if there's any mods in chat, can we get rid of... Just while it's there. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth. Congratulations on successfully resisting the temptation of the loot of liars and taking down Juan. Although you've made progress in stopping the evil accounting guild, there's still more to be done to fully quell the evil. Here's a new mission for you to consider. Your next objective should be to uncover the mastermind behind the evil accounting guild and bring them to justice. To do this, you need to gather more information on the guild and their operations. Start by talking to key individuals in Whiterun, including Bellathor, who Thank may have encountered... Answer. Slay. Thank you very much, uh, Winky Face. Thank you for the tier one. But you interrupted my storytelling, so now I have to go back. Your next objective should be to uncover the mastermind behind the evil accounting guild and bring them to justice. To do this, you need to gather more information on the guild and their operations. Start by talking to key individuals in Whiterun, including Bellathor, who may have encountered the guild's schemes before. Visit other cities and towns to see if they've been affected by the guild's manipulations and if they have any information on the leaders. You may also want to explore any abandoned or suspicious locations that may be connected to the evil accounting guild. Search for any clues or evidence that could shed light on the guild's motives and operations. Once you have enough information, confront the leader of the evil accounting guild and put an end to their schemes once and for all. Return to Hulda and share your findings as she may be able to provide more insight or assistance. Good luck on your mission, adventurer. <laughs> okay, wait, that is a lot. I mean, this just told me this is like an actual main quest, main quest. Visit other cities and towns to see if they've been affected by the guild's manipulations. Thank you, kind sir. Let's go, Juve, what Juve Dagoth dance. Kamarkle, thank you very much for the tier one. I hope you've been doing well. My phone needs to shut up. Get over there. You're on silent now. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, we, we may need to alter a few things to get this a little bit, um, 
to get this back on track. Because it looks like, I mean, I like this. The objective should be to uncover the mastermind behind it all. But gathering information, I don't hate going to Whiterun and talking to a few NPCs and seeing what those NPCs might let us do. Yeah, there are other artifacts, right? The ChatGPT mentioned way earlier, way er earlier in the lore, our narrator let us know that there are other artifacts. Okay, so I'm going to say... I will say, what other artifacts are still out there connected to the Evil Accounting Guild? The Evil Accounting Guild is known for seeking out and acquiring powerful artifacts that they can use to further their schemes and dominate their victims. Beyond the loot of liars, it is rumored... <laughs> it is rumored that the Evil Accounting Guild is also after the following artifacts. The Ledger of Deception. This ancient ledger is said to hold the secrets to unlocking unlimited wealth and power, and the Evil Accounting Guild will stop at nothing to get their hands on it. The Quill of Crafty Contracts. This enchanted quill is said to have the ability to rewrite the laws of reality and bend people to its will, making it a valuable tool for the Evil Accounting Guild to use in their financial dealings. That's actually kind of cool. That's a cool superpower, super ability. The Abacus of Avarice. This powerful abacus is said to have the ability to calculate the exact amount of wealth and influence that someone possesses, giving the evil, <laughs> giving the evil accounting guild an unfair advantage in their negotiations. So they can tell what exactly somebody's level of wealth is and use that in a way to uh, gain more favor with them or not, which I, I guess that actually makes sense. If, if you were trying to screw somebody over, it's probably a lot easier if you know their exact net worth like if you're doing a big deal however the exact location and status of these artifacts are unknown and it is unclear whether they actually exist or are simply rumors spread to scare people if you wish to stop okay um i'm a god how can you kill a god what a grand and intoxicating innocence i'm a god how can you kill a god shame on you sweet Sarah Fusion Broom, thank you so much for gifting five tier ones to the community. You are a certified legend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sean, this is your first time catching a stream from Scotland. Thank you for stopping by, Sean. It's got to be late over there. We got a late start here. And Shaggy, welcome. Thank you for watching the second channel. The VOD channel viewers stay undefeated, especially the ones that come over and say hi on Twitch. So, okay, are there even... Is an abacus even a thing in Skyrim? Skyrim abacus. Let me see. Let me Google it real quick. It doesn't look like there's actually an abacus in Skyrim. I don't think that that's a thing. Like, it's not an actual object in game we could find. But the quill? The quill we could... The Ledger of Deception, it's possible. That could be tough to find. If, if, you're, if you're not sure what exactly is going on, exclamation point lore will help you catch up. We update the lore as we go through our nonsensical, convoluted quest line. Okay. So there's two main things that I kind of want to take out of this text. Our next objective is to interview... Uh, in interview individuals in Whiterun who may have encountered their schemes before. Okay. I think we can kind of do something with that. Right, there's ledgers in shops. I'm not sure if we can actually take a ledger, though. So, we'll update the lore here. That actually makes sense, though. In, in terms of the lore, that makes sense because in the, it is canon. It's canon that the first big victim of the evil accounters, the evil accounting people, I don't know what we'll call them, the accountants guild, it, it is canon that they fucked with Bellathor and ruined his store. Now, granted, that means his store is still... 
like his store will still be in game but it's not doing well so interview npcs in white run so we have to at least get to white run as a hub town that'll be kind of difficult going through the random doors but we'll eventually get lucky and find one Maybe you can have ChatGPT spin something up when you interact. That's a good idea. Okay. All right, that's a good idea. Find a store ledger. We'll have ChatGPT make up what happens to the ledger. We'll just... We'll have ChatGPT bullshit something. We'll also have to... Uh, well, I, the thing with ChatGPT... So... I looked into this. There's also novel AI, which is good for storytelling, but slightly different where chat GPT might not be as good at like making things up or making up a person's intentions. So we'll have to replace, I'll say, can you, I th or I'll say, I think you must be mistaken. There are no abacuses. Is that the plural of abacus? Or is it abacus? Is it abacusi? Abacusi? There are no abacuses in Skyrim. Maybe you're thinking of something else. I apologize. You are correct. I must have been mistaken. Thank you for bringing this to my my attention. Okay, well, <laughs> well, what is the third artifact then? Come on, Hulda. I apologize, but it is a language model trained by OpenAI. I don't have the ability to create new lore or storylines for games like Skyrim. The information I have available comes to me from existing in-game content and materials. I don't have any information about a third artifact related to the evil accounting guild beyond what you have... Your, your job, it, you've been making it up as we went the whole time. Don't do this to me now. All right, all right, all right, hold on. Let, we need to get our narrator back on track. Hold on. All right, hold on. Oh, this is going off the rails now. <laughs> this is this is going off the rails. And abacus is like that little math thing with the balls that you like push around to each side. It's like an old school calculator. I like these names though, the Ledger of Deception, the Quill of Crafty Contracts. I told it to rewrite it, but this isn't as cool. All right, so I'm going to say revi uh, revise this text by replacing the third item with another silly item in Skyrim. We'll see. We'll see if we can get it back on back on track. Ah, yes. Okay, now we're on the right track. Now we're moving on. Okay, okay. So, hold on, music. 
The Evil Accounting Guild is known for seeking out and acquiring powerful artifacts that they can use. Beyond the loot of liars, it is rumored the Evil Accounting Guild is also after the following artifacts. The Ledger of Deception. We already talked about the Ledger of Deception. The Quill of Crafty Contracts. We talked about the Quill. The Scroll of Greed. This powerful scroll is said to have the ability to cast illusions that make people believe they have unlimited wealth, which gives the Evil Accounting Guild an unfair advantage in their negotiations. <laughs> so pretty similar to what it was before, but it's been replaced with a scroll, which we can probably find in game, right? A, an illusion scroll, a scroll that just involves some sort of elusive properties. That's probably as best as we can get. So interview NPCs in Whiterun, find a store ledger, Find an illusion scroll. Uh, find an illusion scroll and a quill. Find a quill. Now remember, it's all going to also come down to where we found it, what location we found it in. Because when we, when we give ChatGPT the location of where it was and we ask ChatGPT to figure out what exactly is going on, or why it might be connected to that place. It's done a good job of coming up with stuff. So let me update the lore real quick. Okay, after fighting back temptation and casting the loot of liars into Lake Illinalta and ruling that it was Joan who conspired with the evil accounting guild rather than Rorik, Holda provided more steps. I think we should also note in here. You know what I want to also ask? I want to ask ChatGPT why it seems like we're being attacked so often. Could I add a rule that I can't buy the scroll? Oh, I, I won't buy a scroll. I don't I don't plan on buying the scroll. We'll find one. This shouldn't be too hard to find a an illusion scroll, right? We have to just take out mages. Uh so I, I want to clarify one thing and and note that I do have a wanted level in both Riften and Whiterun holds. All right, I said, I have been attacked by thugs and bounty hunters. I have a bounty in both Whiterun and Riften Holds. I believe this is the doing of the evil accounting guild due to me not being silly enough. How does this affect my mission? Having a bounty on your head in Whiterun and Riften Holds means that the authorities there are actively seeking to capture or kill you. This can make it more difficult for you to free, more difficult for you to move freely in these areas and complete your mission. It is possible that the Evil Accounting Guild may have put the bounty on you as a way to eliminate you and slow your progress in stopping your schemes. Now, that would make sense, but I did accidentally murder an innocent person. However, without more information, it is difficult to say for certain. To continue with your mission, you need to find a way to clear your name or evade the authorities in these areas. Alright, so we don't have to actually get rid of our bounty. But... Can you just come up with a reason <laughs> for why I'm just going to say I'm just going to ask can you just come up with a reason for why 
The evil accounting guild is a powerful and ruthless. That will stop another. Yeah, we've already gotten that. If they believe that you are a threat to their operations, they may have placed a bounty on you. This could be because you have discovered something about their operations. Blah, blah, blah. In, in either case, having a bounty on your head is a serious. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we're getting a whole lot here in terms of our, our bounty and all of that being a part of it. Did I enjoy the nice weather last week? Uh, no, I basically stay in my basement 24 seven until videos are finished. Mayor of Mayo, thank you for stopping by. Optional mission of clear. Yeah, that's pretty much all we're getting out of that is an optional objective. Clear an optional to clear our bounty, which isn't too, you know, important. So we'll at least include this up in here. Or there's there's two things that we want to include right here. And then this other one down here. It's doing a decent job at remembering what we have to do. Although I am a little bit disappointed with how it decided to develop the end of last stream into this one. So let me just remember our objectives. Okay, we have to get to White Run. How do I strike through? We'll, hi we'll highlight the ones that are done as red. Any of the ones that we finished will mark red. Those two are done. Mark those red. All right. There, we can track our progress a little bit that way. We've still have not gone back to the Bannered Mare. I don't really know if we have to at this point. That's kind of like our, rule, our way to finish the whole thing. Let me drag all this onto my second monitor so I can access it. This is going to end up with me spamming Muffle for 20... No, I don't want to do that. That does not sound enjoyable. Might want to give it a story so far message and remind it that it should make up details. Yeah, that's probably what we should do on the next one. Try to come up with all of the details for it so far. And say, hey, you know, I need you to <laughs> I need you to take your job a little bit more seriously. But at least we have something to start with here. How do I keep moving my chat? I keep moving it in places where it blocks things. and alt-tabbing while loading crashed my game. Now we should be good. We did pretty well last time though, getting all the way to level eight. Posted up, still looking insanely cool. Cheryl looks great. The one problem I have right now is not remembering all of our teleports and stuff like that. It's definitely hard to remember. I do know that in order to get back to the Bannered Mare, we have to go all the way over here. Foral host. That's our teleport back to home base. If we're going to get a scroll... I would probably assume Scroll of Hysteria is probably the one that we want to get. So any places that might have mages, or if we, st if we start encountering magic enemies, we're going to want to try and clear out that place as best we can, both for the XP and for the money. 
We also got to remember if we die, we'll get a nemesis and we won't technically die. Pretty fly for a white guy, you know it. That band was huge when I was younger. Well, I mean, they've always been huge. The offspring. But I remember being a big fan of a couple of their songs. Nowadays, I don't like them as much. But they're not too bad. 10 out of 10 on the fashion. Well, you guys like my, uh, uh, my knockoff Han Solo look? I need to wear a I need to wear a white long sleeve t-shirt under this vest. And then it's oh I thought that was a saber cat. Saber cat's gonna be the one that ends this run. I just know it. All right, while we're out here, I'm just going to enjoy some casual Skyrim shooting. That's not hitting. Oh, come on. <laughs> now I'm out of arrows now. Why? Why must this happen to me? I knew that one was going to miss too. L yeah, not a stealth archer. Thank you. Finally, somebody gets it. All right, there's a cave right here. Let's just take this door and see where it goes. We gotta keep our eyes out for a scroll of hysteria, a quill pen. What was the third one? A ledger. Seen your name in a ledger. Cave entrance? How the hell did I miss it? It's right here. It's the most obvious cave entrance ever. Someone's pissed. Oh my god, we're back here. Really? Why do I always end up here now? This is two times in a row. Well, I appreciate the party. I can't stay for too long, though. I am going to check all of your doors, however. Oh. The Mushroom Kingdom. Not too bad. Mushroom Kingdom has plenty of doors as well. I'm now realizing how difficult it's going to be to get to Whiterun with all the DLC locations installed. And no, I'm not wandering around here. I'm going to get killed immediately. I've had an I've spent enough time in Solstheim, all right? We just haven't made a video on it yet. By order of the Jarl, stop right there. Can we not? I need to speak to the Jarl. It's actually really important, okay? It's not about dragons. It's about evil accountants that are mysterious that nobody knows where they are. Then suffer the Emperor's wrath. Okay. All right, well, that's not going to happen. So if we find Whiterun, we have to save up the money in order to actually get rid of our bounty in Whiterun. It's not exclamation point rules, it's lore. Exclamation point lore. Ooh, this has potential. It's most likely a Falmer dungeon. Or... I always forget their name. Uh, uh, the Tribals in the Southwest. No, it's Falmer. Ooh, crap, hold on. Hag Raven? Certainly not strong enough to take on a Hag Raven. I will politely back out of your cave, ma'am. Yeah, if you're if you're not 100% sure what's going on, exclamation point lore will include the rules and the story up until this point. It's kind of a lot. Forsworn, thank you. Forsworn. That's what I was looking for. Okay, I can't get arrested here. Will I get a bounty at Telmithrin? You know what? I don't care. I gotta I got check the door. I got a world to save. All 
All right, Dwemer Dungeon. That doesn't always spell disaster. This looks like someone's home. We're probably in the barracks? No, we're in the Markarth stables. Not much to use here besides cooking. And I can't cook anything. Great. I need to be careful. I got to be thinking about the survival. Oh, is that a ledger? Yes, we got a ledger. Uh, okay. So we have found the mysterious ledger at the Markarth stables. We have to note. Remember, it's important with the randomizer and where we find things. When we give ChatGPT a location and connect it to one of the items involved in the story, ChatGPT is able to go off with more stuff. So the Markarth stables are now connected to the Evil Accounting Guild. Why? I'm not sure. But at least we knocked out one thing. We have to go one at a time here. I'm probably going to have to kill the stable owner of the Markarth stables. At least we know how to get back there. It's second door here, last door in Telmithrin. Let's check these two last doors that we have in here. Master. Novice. Yeah, I'm going to take the novice. I need to get more lock picks as well. Please, are we going somewhere with alchemy? That'd be nice. Falkreath. Not bad. Okay, we're back in another hub town. One of the first, we have Riverwood. But we can get to Riverwood through the open world. Nice to just have a little shortcut though from the middle of Whiterun, middle of Whiterun Hold, all the way over to Falkreath. So we can get out here if we have to go anywhere. Like if we have to go back to Rorikstead, we have a pretty easy path through Falkreath. So we can teleport ourselves over here pretty easily. I guess we should just start checking the doors. Is this the one I came through? No, it's a master lock. What I really need is an alchemy table. In terms of like gameplay, I could really use one. Do I think the accountants have ties with the cult of Namira? I, I think everything is on the table. Everything. This is, I bet this is the one I came. Yeah, okay, this is the door I took here. Which one is it? Den Gear's house. Okay, so Den Gear's house is our teleport. At least to take us back to Sovereign Guard. Sovereign Guard to White Run Hold. I could really use not getting a bounty though. <laughs> if I can avoid getting a bounty in like a fifth town, that'd be nice. I'll try to avoid locking or lock picking doors. Potential? Lots of potential here. I think we're at Volokar. Yeah, this is the vampire's castle. Can we start this quest? Ah, thank you for having me. I'm not gonna lie. This would make a killer headquarters for a bunch of goofy, silly accountants with very, very evil plans. Okay, I cannot talk to Lord Harkin, but I can take these blood potions. Lots of human meat. Everyone's staring you at me. Would dare address me? Uh, why? Yes, I would. You would dare address me? Is that all you have to? You would dare address me? Okay, well they're not very welcoming here. Thank you, kind sir. I'm going back to Falkry. So what the baby is due today, Juve? When shall I expect child support? Oberia, congratulations on having your Twitch chat baby here on my stream. Um, I mean, it's just. It's the miracle of Twitch chat. Legion, you have arrived from the VOD channel. Well, thank you for stopping by. You are entering. Okay. I know exactly where we're at right now. We were here the last time we played this mod. Again, we're in the Falmer Thalmor. We're in the Thalmor embassy. But we have been able to link them directly to the evil accountants. I'd prefer not to get hungry right now. 
There's a lot of good potions in here. Maybe we can find that scroll. I doubt we do. There's a main story skip in here if we want to do it. Well, let's just look around. You know what? I bet we can find a quill. There's definitely going to be a pen here. Like a quill and a notebook. Thalmor Embassy should absolutely have one. What's happening? If you're wondering where we're at and what we're doing, exclamation point lore. I also encourage chatters to help other chatters by giving them the lore. All right, nothing in here. Nothing in there. That lavender. I thought the lavender could have been a quill pen. I don't want to get too overconfident in here. Pen, pen, pen. There's going to be two guards right through that door. I think. I'm pretty sure. Plenty of doors in here that we can use. We have another big hub of teleports. Ooh, hold on. We have to scour this place. We're going to find a quill. We are going to get ChatGPT to actually give us a compelling story. Because this arc right now, it's falling off a little bit, you know? We, we have to, we gotta put in some work. Nothing there, nothing there. Maybe... Oh, I just heard someone. Maybe I spawned in. There it is. I was wondering when we would get the quest. I think they just spawned in behind us. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, it's going to spawn him in exactly where we were. Great start. Damage output's pretty good. Am I out of healing potions? Uh, there's one more. Damn it. Come on. Come on, bring it. I'm armed and ready. Hot and fresh. Little Caesars. Uh, Fuck. Come on, bring it. I know you don't want to come around this corner. That's why I'm waiting for you. I'm patient. Patience is an exemplary uh, trait of a good I agent. That's right, bastard. Bring your silly tricks back here. I know you're with the accountants. There you go, Cheryl. Cheryl will stop at nothing <laughs> to save her world. She loves it so much. We're all so proud of you, Cheryl. I would like to have not used that much magic and potions and all that, but we got through the fight. I'm not ready to have a nemesis now. It'd be too inconvenient. All right, quill, quill. Am I, have I passed over any quills? I feel like they can be really easy to miss. So I just want to make sure I'm checking everything. Okay, that door needs a key. Not getting through there. Unless we use a platter or something to glitch through it. Am I looking at containers? I guess I haven't looked into too many containers. I feel like most quills that I find, though, are just sitting on a table. Let's check a couple more of the doors here, but we got to make sure that we can get ourselves back to Falkreath. Or Castav. Prentice Necromancer? How difficult will that be? All right, there's an adept down there. We got to get out of here. 
Too much, too spicy. Yeah, I'm out of there. All right, that was a bad, bad route. That one's kind of a dead end. We'll try upstairs. I guess we're out. I think that might be it here. Yeah, this is our way back. Kind of disappointing. Dead man's drink. Ah, uh, see, now I'm starting to lose my brain. Which ones did we already check? This is the one with the Hag Raven? No, this is Volokar. Okay, not in Volokar. Oh, I've been in here before. These guys got all mad at me last time. I don't know if anybody remembers, but they all got pissed because I took one value of one gold from them on accident. I took this basket. That's what they got all pissed about. There isn't much in here, though. It's just a basic resource cave. We could mine. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get some materials, but I want to just keep exploring. Yes, I'm an agent of stealth. Nobody shall catch me. I'll do everything I, am, uh, uh, I can to save this city. Don't think I got caught. Finally got away with it. All right, if we're just in somebody's house, pretty good odds we can find a quill. Come on, I know you're dropping something. Gotta give me some more. Thank you, kind Knapsack? Sir. Uh, nothing in the knapsack. Who doesn't put a quill in their knapsack? It's standard practice. Alright, we're striking out here. Belin Halalu, you're innocent. Good for you. You you saved yourself from possible execution. Gina, is that how I pronounce that? I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the tier one. I thought this was Windhelm too, but I think it's Raven Rock. Hi, Lily. How are you? We haven't checked the Jarl's longhouse. And it's one of these. Uh oh. Okay. At least the game didn't break. Where am I? Castle Dower Dungeon. Are we? I think we're in solitude. Yeah, it looks like we're in the Jail of Solitude. Pen, pen, there's gotta be a pen. It's a jail. They have to write down names or something. Does anybody write anymore? Is it a lost art? I might get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon drawn. <laughs> I might get nervous. A guard walks in on me in the torture chamber. Got it. Got it. All right, we found the quill. I knew it. I knew we would get one eventually. I knew the Imperials were connected. It all makes too much sense. Or does it? Or does it make no sense at all? Wait, are you saying we're in Windhelm? This is definitely, this has got to be solitude. Yeah, there's no way. It's Imperial. 
Okay, Quill acquired. This is good. We're gonna we're gonna be able to get the story moving along here. Hopefully, ChatGPT gets its shit together and writes a better middle part of the second act. Uh, no. Although maybe that could be a good place to find that scroll. A brood layer? This seems like it's really high level. Ah, god damn. Alright, it's just spiders. Spiders are still scary, and I'm valid for being frightened by them. No making fun of me. Oh, okay, was not expecting that. <laughs> Didn't realize there was a hallway there. Itsy bitsy spider came down the hallway. There is the spider and brown are my pants. And the fucky shit, fuck fuck shit is All right, I need you to get into this fight. I'm tired. This is really bad timing to get sleepy. Why is it always right when adrenaline should be the highest? I decide to fall asleep. I'm out of arrows. Perhaps I can use command animal. I cannot. Oh, great miss. Fantastic. Okay. I think I'm done. Please tell me that's not it. Potion of health. That's not going to do anything. Healing. Plentiful healing. I guess I have to take two of them. The potion of blood is just for vampires, so it's not going to help me out much. Get, 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 get out of the way. Maybe I can whittle down that big one a little bit. All right, we took out one of them. Maybe we can bring back another one of them. Go, Staff! Defend me, Spider! I want to get that chest. I'm not losing out on the chest. How many of these can the staff bring out? Oh, I really wish it was more than one. That would be helpful. I can live with one for now. Uh, sure. Vigorous Magicka. We'll take it. Get up there. Defend me. Go. Nice shot. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> that was very quick. At least the spider can't fit in here. I'm not losing to this damn spider. Come on, back up. Bring that spider ass over here. Nice. Nice, there we go, we kind of got it cheesed. How did I do nothing, what, what was I hitting there? The air solidified in front of me. Another devious accounting trick. Nah, come on, come on, bring it. Thank you, kind sir. Still catching up on the first pod. Just popping in to say hi and good luck. What box of lemons? Thank you very much. It is because of that we were able to get through that fight. It's because of that we made it through the fight. I completely forgot about my ghost friend, by the way. I just I just saw that in chat. Somebody suggested using the, uh, what's it called? Undying ghost. Completely forgot about it. That probably would have made the fight much easier. But at least we survived. 
Don't tell me that the accounts are connected to spiders. Frostbite, lockpicks. Resist fire shield, that's not bad. We can disenchant it. All right, unfortunately, we're leaving this place with no scroll of hysteria. But good XP nonetheless, we're almost level nine. You gotta think about the important things. So this will take us back to Castle Dower. Castle Dower dungeon. Uh, this place, when we spawned in, that's right, we spawned in here and had to fall through the map. So maybe we had one of the lower doors when we got in here. Oh, <laughs> he sees me. I was about to just take this right in front of him. What am I doing that for? So my mission can survive. I have goals far beyond your comprehension. No door down there. This one's going to be confusing hey, to get out of, isn't it? Nothing right there. And then this is the door we just took, right? This goes to the cave. Yeah. So it's not on the second level. It's down here somewhere. It's gotta be a lower level entrance. Not there, not there. Not over here. I really hope we didn't lose track and completely get ourselves stuck in a new loop. Get out of my way. Get out. Get out of the way. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, here we go. Whew. I was nervous. Oh, damn it. Still not here. Evidence chest. That's not that useful. The escape route exit? Is there an escape door? Trap door in a cell? I only have a limited amount of lock picks. Are you guys sure that there's a hidden trap door in here? Don't see one in there. One of the cell walls can be broken to escape. Well, shit. I gotta break myself into one of these cells then. But which one? It's a crumbling wall. Okay. All right. No crumbles. No noticeable crumbles. I'm not seeing any crumblage. Worth every cent. I, I checked the map. I'm not seeing anything. No noticeable crumblage in there. I also only have two lockpicks. Shit. Another dastardly... <laughs> Another dastardly plan by the evil accountants to stop my progress. That means we must have been getting close. Damn stone cloak rebels. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet. Wait, hold on. I need to inspect the cell. Can you open it for me? I want you. I want something in this cell. Open it or I cut you open. I want to poke around in the cell. Yeah, we'll just buy our way in. A little coin always greases the wheels. Hopefully, this is the right cell. Loose brick? Map to Blackbone Isle added. Crumbling mortar? Oh! Oh, we made it! Yes, get me out of here! 
I'm free. Haha, <laughs> bastards. Thought you could keep me in jail? I'm wanted in two different regions, but not this one. Please be the right one. My god, no, it's not the right one! What teleport did we take to get into the prison? Someone down here wants to kill me now. You up in this little hole? Hey! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Ah. Okay. Alrighty. You know what? I wasn't gonna engage with you. I was just minding my own business, but now I have to. Sending your dumb little animals after me too? Cheryl will stop at nothing. Cheryl's kind of a badass. I'm biased, of course, but I think Cheryl is dope. Five lockpicks? Don't mind if I do. I need those. That's a savior. Bracers of minor smithing? Do I have bracers on right now? Either way, I'm going to throw on the smithing one so I don't forget. A little bit less armor, but I'm going to forget to wear them when I actually do improve my stuff. Scroll of Firestorm, not quite, not the scroll we need. This might be the first playthrough where buying lockpick perks is worth it that I've ever played. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Do I play Elder Scrolls online? Uh, not too much. Every now and then though, yeah. Oh, that's right. We have to sleep. We have to do immersive leveling. Can't just do it the normal way. Gotta play under restrictive rule settings. Fucking game. It's bullshit. This game is... It's getting on my nerves right now. No, I'm just playing. Not really. I'm enjoying this adventure. Although, I'm not as motivated for these objectives as the ones prior. They're not as interesting. They're just kind of... I don't know, like MacGuffin items to keep the chase going, but I need more. I need more from the narrator. Hopefully giving it the exact location we found some of these things will improve it. Castle Dower Dungeon for the quill. Oh, hold on. There's a note here. Kevin's note. Who is Kevin? 15 men, a sunken treasure and a lost ship. That's what I left behind. It took less than a day to sail to Blackbone Isle. Captain said we needn't worry about the cold, so we left the furs and packed the steel. Seems like an odd thing. No one but us knew about this place. Still didn't matter. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, this looks like a Creation Club quest. All right, we have to get these other doors in the prison open. Which one looks most like it would be the player's prison cell? The waiting. The insufferable waiting. There's some other door I might have missed. Nakuma misses me? Now we won't we won't do that series uh, anymore, but it was a lot of fun at the time. Hazy Red Panda, thank you for stopping by and saying hi. Thank you very much. It's not gonna be in there, because that one's owned. It's not that one, so that leaves us one, two, three, four, five potential cells. So we got to try and get all these open in 10 lock picks. Great. Awesome start. 
Barracuco, thank you for stopping by to say hello. Thank you for watching the channel. Fudge. I don't want to have to murder the guards in here, but I will. Fuh! Uh, uh -huh. Come on, Cheryl, get it together! You're a secret agent on the most important mission in the universe. There we go. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Can I sleep here? At least I can sleep here. They're kind enough to let me take a nap in the prison. Have I ever heard of schooled zone? I have not. They're a settlement builder? Like they build real settlements or in video games? Nine lives left, thank you for stopping by. If you are a new and you've never been to a stream before and you want to understand a little bit about what's going on, exclamation point lore. Because we are very far along in letting this AI control our quest. I can't do that door. Seven lock picks left. Come on, give it to me. Let's go. Nice. Didn't have to break a lockpick. Nothing there, nothing there. No doors here? Shit. It's possible we're screwed. Although now I'm trying, kind of just giving myself the mini challenge of Picking all of these locks in the limited number of lock picks that I have to do it. That's it. Money. Give it to me. I told you all time and again. There are no better lock pickers in this realm. I tried to make that rhyme, but it didn't quite work. But that's okay. We all make mistakes. God, I'm on fire. I am absolutely on fire. Somebody stop this woman. Let's go, Cheryl. Of course, naturally, it comes down to the very last door we haven't unlocked. Five lock picks left. I thought that I thought that had some give. That did. Got to be it. Ooh. Gotta be, ooh, it's gotta be one of those, come on. It's not straight on, is it? No, it's not straight on, it's tilted to the right. Nothing there, no hidden walls here. No hidden walls, just the one that I had to pay to get into, of course. That the guards, I don't think have done anything with. Been too long since you've had a good bandit raid. Wait, which one was it? Oh, wait, is it gone now? It really, it really filled the wall back up. You guys got to work that quickly. You locked me in here. Now I'm really screwed. The gods gave you two hands, and you used them both for your weapons. Thank you. All right, I appreciate the kind words. Very nice of you to say that. You need but I'm a little frustrated that I seem to be forever locked in this goddamn prison. And I don't want to go through the spider cave. I'm going to have to go through the spider cave. Okay, well, if we got the big reward chest, then we had to have at least this had to have been the final boss of this cave. Should be able to get out of here. Thank you, kind fingers sir. crossed. This I would really like to. This has been written by an AI. Bleep bloop. 
Quantum, thank you so much for eight months. You're almost at your first Twitch chat baby in here. We're all rooting for you. Oh. Okay. Air is comfortable here. We're outside, which is good. Are we close to any major cities? Mzluft. We're at Mzluft. Yeah, let's get to Windhelm. Where is Windhelm from here? Somewhere up that way. Let me get down from this cliff. Alright, that was a close call. We just have to hoof it to Windhelm and then take a carriage back to... Can we take one to Falkreath? I'm not sure. We don't necessarily have to go back to Falkreath, though. There's no major connection points that we need at Falkreath. First stream, you're catching corruption. Thank you for stopping by. Exclamation point lore, or somebody probably typed it in just before you. If you want to catch up and figure out exactly what we're up to right now. The story is a little bit muddy right now. We're trying to clarify it a bit. We have some details that we're going to be able to throw our AI, Thank and hopefully the story can take another jump. Hello, Jude. Tile, hello. Hello, Tile. How are you? And thank you for the prime. Who's this friendly fellow? The Empire is in shambles. They've banned the worship of Talos. Regular old farmer. Straight shot north to Windhelm. Not a far run. I think we'll probably just hit the doors at Kynes Grove. It's some civilization, right? Might as well. Oh yeah, and if you're on the VOD channel, I forgot to say, if you're watching this on the VOD channel, be sure to exclamation point lore in the comments so you too can be a part of the adventure. It won't do anything. It has no effect. But, you know, you can be a part of the team. Yeah, Rowan, after we get this last objective, I am not letting the AI keep up this fetch quest nonsense. The last one's probably pretty tough, though. At least we got the quill. We got ourselves, what was the other one? We found a business ledger. The business ledger connects the horse stables in Markarth directly to the accounting guild. I'm not even gonna give her the opportunity to call me a milk drinker. Sorry, I won't stand for it. Why don't I play Dark and Darker? Uh, I don't have time to. I would love to if I had more time. All right, let's check the doors at Kynes Grove. This could be useful. And it's not locked? All right, another Dwemer Ruin, but this is probably a decent place to find that scroll we're looking. Ooh, four. Oh God, I don't want my journey to end on a fucking trap. That would be miserable. How much damage can I do to him? Not a stealth archer. did a lot more damage than I wanted. Why are the Falmers so goddamn good? Oh, you did not. How dare you? Back off. Not at the level where I can just run through a Falmer dungeon yet. 
Thank you, kind sir. Violetta, thank you so much for the tier one. Do you want me to pronounce the K or is the K silent in K Violetta? I'll try to remember. You know what we should do? Uh, we should take the entire story as we have it and put it into an actual storytelling AI like novel and see if it's able to sort of continue what happens. Do it in game because novel is much better at getting really wacky and random with it. I own Hollyfrost farm outside the city. It's honest work, just a bit dull. There's really oh, you know what? There's a ton of doors at the Windhelm docks So let's check the docks We're about to get really cold though here Pronounce Worcestershire <laughs> Worcestershire is that how you say it? No secret the Aretino boys do Add up the lock. Trying to call the dark. Expert lock. You know what? Screw it. Uh, I don't want to push it. Another Dwemer. It's why is it always Dwemer? What is it with the Dwemer? Get out of my run. Not gonna find the squirrel I want to in here either. Just a regular house. Once again, I am left disappointed and underwhelmed. Oh, great. Oh, it's great. It's locked on the way out, too. That's bullshit. What happens when I lock myself into a place and I run out of lockpicks? Do you guys give me permission to console command in one lockpick? Oh, I'm so good. I'm undefeated at lockpicks. No. <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Uh, another expert lock. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Ah. Oh, not this one. Looks like that's it. The young folks are too happy to break their backs for the Nords. They forget what it was like. There we go. It's like nine o'clock. Yeah, it's going to be nine thirty. But well, it's closer to ten. Right? What would that be on a clock? There's no way I'm back at the Thalmor Embassy. How do I keep ending up back here? Wait a minute. The Thalmor Embassy dungeon. We've been here before. We've been here before. We fought the people. Yeah, we took them out. I think we took this door to get out of here. But the door we came in was up here. Where did this one take us? We're doing some backtracking here. Sightless pit. No clue where this is. There's no door right there. I'm almost positive when we left, we just took the trap door. White Run? Oh, it's just outside of White Run. That's right. Okay, so this takes us to Duh, Haunting Brew Meadery. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, so we can go from Haunting Brew Meadery back to the messed up kind of loop area we were in before. That doesn't help us out too much, though. We still haven't found the actual White Run. Like, White Run, White Run. We have to get in there.
Kind of stuck out here in the open world, though. Didn't learn a whole lot from Windhelm. Oh shit, here comes the guard. You're not catching me, bastard! I've got way more important things to do than meddle with the town guard. Oh man, he's really hauling ass, isn't he? Not you too! Why are you attacking me? What the hell have I done? And who are you, nerds? Going to a wedding? Weddings often get silly. I think I have said this before, but you are my second favorite streamer, but 18th on YouTube. Second? Out of 217 subscribed. Second? We gotta bump up those numbers. 18th? Hey, whoa. <laughs> I'm just playing. Warlord, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the prime. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be awake. I'm going to hit 230 a.m. tossing and turning in bed wondering God, how do I get out of second place? What do I got to do? What must happen? Just playing around. I appreciate it. I'm not playing around. All right. All right. Out of 217, I'll, I'll take that. How does the AI write me a quest? We go into the AI and we give it prompts based on what's happened in game and characters we've encountered. You're right, second is pretty good. I'll take second. Yeah, give me your meat. Yes, yes, I claim you dear. You are mine and mine alone. I'm trying to rack my brain. There's a couple places we've been to that have mages, but I'm getting the doors all confused. At least I've unlocked most of these. Yeah, ice cave? Nah. Not doing an ice cave. We have to end up in a little mage fort. What the hell? Feindal, what is the meaning of this? Why, Feindal? Have you joined the evil accountants? All right, what kind of sick prank is this? I will defend myself. I will. Stop. Oh, God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to slaughter the town of Riverwood, but if they've joined up with the evil accountants, I have no choice. I, I really wish I, I what this is not no This is not my fault and I'm not letting you all blame me for it I'm sorry, I'm sorry Oh, no, <laughs> oh my god, no Fiendal So it has happened that's how my first death happens all right. I squint my eyes. I see double for a moment before the world comes back into focus. I can see clearly again, but I don't recognize this place. Feindal is not worth my time or energy. <laughs> okay, so I guess Feindal can't actually be my nemesis. <gasps> don't tell me I lost my sword. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Oh, I didn't lose my sword. <laughs> we did not lose the sword. Doesn't look like we lost a ton. Did I lose? I think I lost my helmet. Don't know. They took my sunglasses. Those bastards took my sunglasses. How do we get out of here? I know. I know. Use the door. Duh. But how do I get back to where I was? I need my sunglasses back. I can't, I can't let this occur. 
Fuck, and they took all my lockpicks. I know I can at least give myself one lockpick, but part of me wants to find one in here. I need to leave? I know I do. Already caught me. Yes? You need to leave now. Gloth, I need the key. And I am prepared to acquire it by any means. Well, do I? You need to explain how the fuck I ended up here. Ah! Really didn't want to, Gloth. But I have a mission to complete. Now give me the key and let me out of here. Ah, we made it to Windhelm. Not a bad teleport at all. Maybe dying wasn't the worst thing that could have happened. I'm still gonna get my revenge on Feindal. So we've died once, we can die two more times, and then the quest fails. So we have two lives left. The mod doesn't say that... Where am I? In the name of the yard. I did not know you could get up here. Did anybody know this was a thing in Riften? All the way up here? The guards are pissed off me. How the hell do the guards even know I'm up here? They could smell me. I didn't mean to slaughter Gloth. It was just kind of... That's how it had to happen. There we go. This is actually a fantastic cave for us to find. A scroll of hysteria. Who's there? Rodolf? Is that you? Boss was looking for you, said he'd be up at the summit. Better not keep him waiting. Hold on, we have to make sure to sneak past. Ulfir the Blind. Oh, I remember you. Yes, you sit there, your name is the Blind. And then when looking at your book, it is completely blank. That is incredibly silly, my friend. Which, according to our new set of laws and the danger that is facing this entire hold. That is one agent of the silly accountants executed. Good work, everybody. You know, sometimes it's a tough call. S sometimes it's a tough call, right? That one was easy. They were planted there to make us laugh, to make us enjoy our time. No, we must remain as miserable as possible to fight off the evil accountants. If none of that makes sense, good. But also read up on the lore. Read up on the manga, Man manga, manga. I always struggle with that word. Read up on the Mungo. So you is someone there? There is someone here. Did you hear something? Technically, two people here. Nice. Ow. Injury? All right, let's see if any of them had the scroll. Scroll of Hysteria, Scroll of Harmony. As long as it's an illusion scroll, then we can satisfy the quest objective. We have to find a scroll of illusion. Conjur another Conjuration Staff. I'm finding a lot of those. Kind of coming in handy. Nice. I've been looking for one of these. I have blue mountain flower and a ton of wheat.
Yeah, I needed that. Just make a bunch of restore health potions. Throw them into my favorites. Should definitely help keep us alive. You're, why are you hung up on the death of Gloth? Oh, there's another loot in here, but it's not exactly the loot of liars. We already found it. Okay, now I feel like a badass. Took this game long enough to make me feel cool. Isn't this a bit too easy? Maybe. Aversion to frost. Oh, great. Now I'm overcanumbered. Now you overcanumber me? Zombies. I guess I don't really need the zombie staff anymore if I have a familiar staff. So I'll save the weight on staves. Just stick with one of them for now. Try to recharge it if I need to. All right, we cleared out the cave, but no illusion scroll. Also, no big chest? Unless I already opened the big chest. Let's just keep moving. I had no choice. I had to kill Gloth. You guys realize that I needed Gloth's key. What the fuck are you? What? Eh? Who are you? Are you an orb of the accounting world? <gasps> it's an abacus ball. Look, another one. I haven't made very many friends on this journey. So these little balls you, are kind, sir. very welcome. Juven Shuttle sitting in a tree. U T U B I N G. Yeah, thank you very much. I have no relationship with Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl is just an extension of myself. Dead scholar. Notes on Ing Ingal Barrow. This is not a bad place to try and find out. Not a bad idea to find the scroll here. Is this going to kill me if I switch it with the wrong password? I feel like it will. It's one. It's probably the usual Skyrim password. It's usually a variation of 221, 122, 212. Oh, okay. Man in his throne. So he should. So should he be whale in the sea? Snake in the grass, whale in the sea. Today I learned that that's supposed to be a whale. And then hawk right there. Easy. Ooh. Dragon claw, coral. It's one of the main characters in The Walking Dead. It's a fun little uh, Easter egg. Not a lot of people know that though. Yeah, I thought it was like a little fish. Slaughterfish? Definitely not a whale. Okay, where are my little orb friends leading me? Hopefully not to my death. This bridge looks like a bridge to death. I just need to find a scroll. All I'm asking for is a scroll, not a boss battle. 
Certainly not a boss battle I'm not prepared for at all. Because if I die here, that puts me in a really bad spot with one life left. <gasps> Ooh, two lockpicks. Come on, we can get through here. Yes? Closer. A little bit more and we should have it. Got it. Come on, scroll. Damn it. No scroll yet. That scroll's gonna take us forever to find, isn't it? We're looking for an illusion scroll. Nothing in there. Might head out the way we came in. It was worth a check. I definitely expect places like this to be really high possibility for getting a scroll to drop. Again, preferably the one that we need. I say we prompt our AI one more time. Let's get back to a relatively safe place. Hi, dog. You stay in there. You stay. Bad dog. You're not holding the scroll. You're not my dog. Illusion of Gloth. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but I, I think Gloth has just been killed off. All right, we're back to a relatively safe area safe point so let me save real quick let's do our best to get chat gpt to give us a good extension of the lore if they can't then we'll move on to novel ai and my stream deck crashed hold on Trying to play a tune while we do this. All right, so we found just now, we found a store ledger, Markarth Stables. We found a quill, Empire Castle Dungeon. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that ChatGPT is going to just tell us to go investigate those things, which we already did. And that's kind of retreading the exact same thing we already did. But let's just see what happens. We'll just try it. Okay, so. I'll just start with something simple. And if it goes the direction that I think it's going to go, then we'll just back it out. And, and we'll try it with novel. But if we do it with novel, we're going to have to retype all of the lore. We're going to have to type everything in. Okay, so we found the ledger of deception.
It is also possible the Ledger of Deception was hidden in the stables. So here's what I don't like about how ChatGPT is taking the story. So I say here, I found the Ledger of Deception in the Markarth horse's stables. Why was it in there? And instead of giving me an actual reason of why it was in there and giving me like real lore or what it actually is, it just gives me a few things that it could be there for to protect it, to keep it secret, to use it as leverage, right? That kind of stuff. And that's sort of the direction that a lot of this has been going. So what we could do is instead go and use novel AI, which the whole point of novel is to just be a storyteller. I'm not sure how much text I can give it. Try commanding it to invent a specific reason. True, we could try something like that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I, I think we're getting somewhere here. I said, I said, can you give the Ledger of Deception a specific reason for existing like a storyteller? Just to, you know, push, push our narrator in the right direction a little bit. The Ledger of Deception was created by a group of powerful sorcerers who sought to unlock the secrets of wealth and power. They discovered that the laws of reality could be rewritten through the use of contracts and agreements. And so they created the Ledger of Deception as a tool to keep track of their dealings and to monitor the amount of wealth and influence they held over others. All right. So I like where this is going because <laughs> it's the laws of reality are being rewritten just through like basic contracts and someone signing a piece of paper. No, doo, doo man, Gloth is fucking dead. Shut up. <laughs> okay, we're moving on from Gloth. No one cares about Gloth. He's dead. Over time, the sorcerers became known as the Evil Accounting Guild and continued to loot use the Ledger of Deception as they expanded their reach and power, eventually becoming one of the most feared organizations in all of Skyrim. Well, I don't know about that. We just kind of made them up now. It doesn't really seem like anybody knows who they are. Despite its importance to the Evil Accounting Guild, the Ledger of Deception was lost for many years and exact location remained a mystery. That is, until you stumbled upon it in the Markarth Horse's stables. How shall I dispose of the Ledger? Disposing of the Ledger of Deception will likely be a difficult decision as it likely holds immense power and knowledge that others might be willing to use for their own gain. However, if you believe that the ledger is being used for evil purposes, or if it is too dangerous to remain in the hands of those who might misuse its power, you might consider destroying it. This can be done by destroying the... the okay, say the, here, now it's kind of just getting into the realm of just kind of saying what I might be able to do. All right. I don't hate this lore. I like, I like this lore right here. They discovered that the laws of reality could be rewritten through the use of contracts and agreements. That just makes them like normal shady businessmen. Well, we can't technically destroy the ledger because the ledger isn't something in our inventory. What was the quill called? The Quill of Crafty Contracts. All right, I'm really struggling with music, music choices right now. I've located the Quill of Crafty Contracts within the Empire's underground dungeon give me specifics
Give me specific reasons why it was there and why the Empire appears to be working with the evil accounting guild. There we go. All right, hopefully this works out better. The reason why the Quill of Crafty Contracts was located in the Empire's underground dungeon is unclear. God damn it! I told you specific reasons! However, it is possible that the Evil Accounting Guild has infiltrated the Empire and were using the dungeon as a safe place to hide the artifact. Alternatively, the Empire may have acquired the Quill themselves, recognizing its power and seeking to use it for their own purposes. It is also possible that the Evil Accounting Guild has made a deal with the Empire, trading the Quill for some form of support or protection. The exact nature of the relationship between the Empire and the Evil Accounting Guild remains unknown, but it is clear that they were working together in some capacity. Whether this was a temporary alliance or a more... See, it's not... I want it to get a little bit more... Meaty. I want it to get a little bit more... Okay, all right, all right. We'll, we'll try this one again. All right, I, I will clarify. Tell a silly story of why it was there. Once upon a time, <laughs> here we go. Now it's just telling it like an old school storyteller. Once upon a time, in the land of Tamriel, the Empire had stumbled upon the quill of crafty contracts while exploring the depths of their underground dungeons. The quill was said to possess the power of rewriting the laws of reality, and the Empire saw this as a valuable tool to further their own political and financial dealings. However, the Empire soon realized that their actions were being monitored by the evil accounting guild, who were determined to acquire the quill for their own use. In a foolish attempt to keep the quill out of their hands, the Empire hid it within their own underground dungeon, thinking that the Evil Accounting Guild would never think to look there. But of course, the Evil Accounting Guild was only one step ahead. They had already infiltrated the Empire and were working from within, using their cunning and wit to manipulate their every move. So when the, when the Emperor Empire thought they had outsmarted the Evil Accounting Guild, they were actually playing right into their hands. And so, the Quill of Crafty Contract remains hidden within the Empire's underground dungeon, waiting for the right adventurer to come along and put an end to the Evil Accounting Guild schemes once and for all. I mean, that's not bad lore. That's not terrible. I said appears and not is. And why the Empire is... Oh, I said why the Empire is working with. Okay, that you're right. That might have confused it. Hmm. Well, hold on. I'm kind of hard stuck right now. Yeah, I think, I think we should swap. I think we should swap to novel. And, and I started writing earlier a little bit into novel AI just as much as I could. Like, cause y you can, you can work with it as a storyteller, right? But this is actually gonna take me a little bit to write. I should probably just do this on my own time. But the story is kind of not, it, it's just like we're, we're running out of room for chat GPT to keep the story going. So we need to take all the lore as we have it and put it into novel AI and then get novel to write us a little bit further ahead. So, I mean, all I have so far, I don't know how, I don't know if you can see this at all. The story takes place within the world of Skyrim. Our hero is Cheryl and she has been tasked by Hulda, the innkeeper of the bannered mare in Whiterun, to track down the fabled loot of liars to throw a wrench into the plans of a gang of a mysterious and silly gang of guild guild of evil accountants that's kind of all I have which means I'd have to go way back into the lore and bring a lot of text from the lore into novel AI. Noah, how are you? I am on and off. Uh, 
I'll do like a couple of weeks and then I'll cheat a little bit. I definitely don't keep myself from cheating 24 seven. It's been much harder after the holidays, but I'm still trying to do a decent job with it. Okay. So, thank you, kind sir. Radage, thank you very much for the tier one and for four months. Advanced lore book generation settings. Wait, my lore book? What does that mean? Text adventure across genre. The AI will remember info placed here. I may, I may have to take a look at this on my own time. Doesn't novel sometimes get a little screwy with what characters actually do? Yes, but we kind of want that to happen. No, getting, getting killed by Feindal did count. Yes, and Feindal, Feindal killing us should be added to the lore. Hold on. So we have to kill Feindal because we got jumped by all of them. That's a great idea. I'm going to ask the AI to make a plot synopsis of what we have so far so that we could put it into a storyteller AI. Yeah, Feindal can't technically be a nemesis, but we're just calling him our nemesis. We're going to kill Feindal. Okay, so here's what ChatGPT. It appears that you have been on a quest to stop the evil accounting guild who are seeking out and acquiring powerful artifacts to further their schemes and dominate their victims. You've encountered the loot of liars and found it in Rorik's manor in Rorik's dead where Rorik and Joan were planning to use it for their own purposes. We have to correct that. I'm going to be a I'm going to be a jerk. Rorik and Joan were not planning together. Joan planned on his own. Please correct this information. <laughs> OK. Let me revise that. Rorik and Joan were not working together. Joan was acting on his own in collaboration with the Evil Accounting Guild. Please give me the synopsis again, but go into as much detail as possible. It's actually kind of crazy how it's bullet pointing everything. All right, so bullet point plot synopsis. Evil Accounting Guild is known for seeking out powerful artifacts for schemes. Loot of liars found in Rorik's Manor. Cast into Lake Illinolta. 
Joan was accused of collaborating with the evil accounting guild and was killed in plain view of the townsfolk. Rorik was ruled to be innocent. The protagonist has been attacked by thugs and bounty hunters with a bounty on their head in both Whiterun and Riften Holds. It is believed that this may be the doing of the evil accounting guild. The Ledger of Deception was found in the Markarth Horse Stables, and the Quill of Crafty Contracts was located within the Empire's underground dungeon. It is unclear why the Ledger was in the stables and why the Empire appears to be working with the Evil Accounting Guild. That's most of the information, but not all of it. I think the AI is starting to get pissed. Yeah, let's just see. Can you use that plot synopsis to write a story in the first person? It, this one, this isn't too bad what it's writing out. It's not 100% correct, though. But I persevered, knowing that the safety and freedom of the people of Skyrim were at stake. It definitely wrote out a whole mouthful there, but it's not quite... Perfect. It does. It always tries to write an ending. Yeah, in a lot of its responses, it seems like it's trying to always wrap it up in a little bow instead of kind of keeping it open ended for me. I think I have to take this into the writer's room. Story takes place within the world of Skyrim. Our hero is Cheryl. She's been tasked by Holder, of the innkeeper of the Banner Marin White Run. Because, like, it, while we're here on Novel AI, if something happens, we'll be able to just write exactly what happened in game and then let Novel give us the lore. Story takes place. Our hero is Cheryl, and she has been tasked by Holda, the innkeeper of the Banner and Marin Whiterun, to track down the fabled loot of liars to throw a wrench into the plans of a mysterious and silly guild of accountants. I need to find the whole... I need to scroll way up. Yeah, the silly dungeon of shame. I forgot of the silly dungeon of shame. Okay, we could put in here. All right, I think unfortunately, I, I I have to I have to dig into this on my own to keep it going. I I was hoping it would be a little bit easier than it has been. It's getting a little. It's getting a, it, it's getting kind of a lot. Get rid of the capital A. And like, yeah, trying to trying to like figure this out 
and have this planned out and like go back in and record like regular gameplay and you know having chat suggest a solution to every little uh <laughs> every little spelling or you know grammar whatever the fuck it is it's yeah it's a little bit too much right now so give me two seconds here and da, da, da. hold on All right, I'm changing the stream title to another scuffed stream. We're, we're calling this one. Uh, this is scuff stream two. That means two out of our three streams this week were scuffed. Congratulations, everybody. A new record. A new record on scuffed streamage. I'm really proud of everybody for uh, working hard to reach this moment. Let's see. What can we what can we stream for the rest of this stream what should we what should we play because on, honestly i have no clue oblivion that week where my internet just shit itself non-stop oh god don't remind me that was awful that was really bad all right, yeah, Oblivion or Morrowind. Let's do a poll. I've seen that game he's been playing, Wrestling Empire. Did I ever hit 20k on Talsgar? I think we got really close. I got pretty good at it. I don't have the Nakuma save anymore on Morrowind. What the hell is Wrestling Empire? I mean, I've seen Jabo play it. 15 dollar doll hairs? That's a lot <laughs> to just play it for five minutes on one stream. Are we able to do a poll? Are there any mods that can do a poll? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Morrowind or Oblivion? Take your pick. You never pass the beginning of Morrowind? Morrowind's easy. I'm tired of pretending that Morrowind is difficult, all right? It just takes a little bit of knowledge. I can show you how to break Morrowind very quickly. Although... It does take some grinding, and I don't really want to. But I would not- I wouldn't be against playing Morrowind right now, that sounds fun. Although it looks like Oblivion's winning in a blowout. can't see the poll are you on mobile if you're on mobile i think it's harder to see Oh yeah, it's Oblivion. Oblivion wins! Congratulations to the Oblivion Truthers.
Ooh. I do love this intro. Ooh, now for the 9,000th time. All right, we, we'll born, watch the intro. Do you, do you want to watch ago. the intro? For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Damn, this cutscene is really low res. <laughs> it's like, it's like two pixels. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era and the final hours of my life. There's a giant Imperial soldier walking around in this cutscene. There, right there, right there, you see him? I'm pointing at my screen, but you can't see my arms. All right, this intro is very loud and that was the end of it. Give a character a name. Uh, chat, throw a bunch of random names in chat. I'll pick the funniest one. I'll award you a couple points, um, but the point system is non-existent. It doesn't matter. JFSBS, KFB, K, uh, Thud, Pleb, Gilbert. Okay, I like Gilbert. Rando Calrissian. Jeff Cash Money, Big Dumpy, Snuffly, Gordon. D doorway Sniffer. Okay, I like that one. That's the one we're going with. Spleeble Fleep. Okay, Spleeble Fleep. That just sounds like an Argonian. Spleeble Fleep? Sounds like one. We're going with an Argonian. That's what I was going for, irate. Everything's made up and the points don't matter, right? Hair. What's the coolest Argonian haircut? I kind of like the fin. Like the dorsal fin, just because it looks very fishy. Obviously, we're going to make it as big as we can. Whew, I almost forgot to customize my character. Should go everything. I want to make his head as small as possible. I feel like everybody always goes with the big head or the slender head. Let's go with the tiny head. Yeah, anything, anything that shrinks it down. That shrinks. Shrink. Shrink. Very small. We're getting there. We gotta bring that chin back. There we go. This is, this is making him a little bit long. Shrinking just a bit. Oh, there we go. Now, I know I made fun of people for making the heads always thin, but this is just how this one's playing out. We, we have to take the mouth. We got to bring the mouth in. Right, so we've got jaw. Tracked. Oh, that doesn't... Maybe that's nose, but we'll still go retracted. We'll go. Yeah, we have to go Thank thin. You kind, sir. Hello, been a while. Grown a lot since last I was here. Thank you very much, Raven. How are you?
jaw, mouth, nose. Hold on, let, let me get to nose first. We'll revisit that other one. Short. Oh, damn it, that just brings his nose. He, he can definitely smell you. We're not technically... Ooh, wait. Okay, now there's a really strange divot in the middle of his face. Okay. I like this. This is gonna work. Spleeve will fleep. And then we'll just get wild with... Yeah. Yeah, let's just get crazy. <laughs> Alright, Spleeble Fleep, time for your adventure. Jesus Christ. Out, there are two wood elf he looks like a nematode. Look at that! He actually looks like a nematode. Raven, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Four gifted subs. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And Radich, thank you for 200 bits. Hey, Lizard. It must break your heart, huh? Being so close to the water, knowing you'll never get to swim again. You know, sometimes when they let us in the yard, you can hear the sounds from the lake, the boats, the gulls. So close. I hate this guy. No, you'll never get to swim again, Argonian. But don't worry, you'll be dead soon enough. That's right. You're going to die in here. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> Boris, lock that door behind I just look really pale. But I have permanent goosebumps. This is what my hands look like oh, after two months straight in a basement without getting any sun. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I I mean with this character we could technically not leave the water. Stand back, prisoner. He won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. You, prisoner, stand aside. Over by the window. What are we doing today? Uh, well, we were going to continue our AI story, but it ended up getting Prisoner, a little bit scuffed. Stand away from the door. Over by the window now. God damn, I'm going. No sign of pursuit. Stay put, prisoner. Calm oh, the fuck. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. Why does my you character have lipstick on? Because my character is you. confident and can do whatever the hell they want. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Yeah, I'd need some strength to stare at this face too, boss. Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Oh, sorry, I'm sore from getting fucking swole today. From getting huge. But I am sore. <laughs> it's, a, it's, good, it's a good feeling, but every now and then it catches me off guard like, ah, I can't straighten out my arm. Perhaps Why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that... Perhaps the gods have placed you here for your uh, obscene appearance. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. You are... So... Please, sire, I appreciate you. Moving. You're a cool guy. But let's get this show on the road, huh? Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Yo, easy, Keon. Relax. All right, new challenge. We're going to keep her alive. Do as you're told and you'll be all right. Never mind. We're going to make sure she dies immediately. This Looks doesn't like this concern you, day. prisoner. Just stay out of our way. There's trouble ahead. Close up left. Protect the emperor. <laughs> the captain's down. Who <laughs> 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 needs to not be stupid now, Captain Reynolds? <laughs> 
This doesn't con- Fuck you guys. You're not even cool. I'm joining these cool robed figures. Are you all right, sire? We're clear for now. She's dead. Sorry, sire, but we have- Stand aside, prisoner. How could they be waiting for us here? Don't know, but it's too late to go back. Be now. careful. Don't worry, sir. The Emperor's the only one who has my best interests in mind. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prison. Don't try to. That's not smart. Got you to shut up, so. know what kind of build I want to go for. Dagger, light armor. No, I think I want to go magic, so we're going to go no armor. Thank you. Stream still says I'm playing Skyrim. Oh my God, the hood looks, look at that. <laughs> How does it, it's a one size fits all hood. This is why the Mythic Dawn must be stopped. All of their technological advances in fabric development. No archery. I'm not going to take any combat skills. Like, I'm not going to take any melee or archery skills. I might take block. I think I'll take block and just a whole bunch of magic skills. Maybe speechcraft. Hold on, let me upgrade. Oh, you know what? I don't think I can really alt tab much in Oblivion without it breaking the game, but I'll try. Oh, I don't even have Twitch open. Hold on. Hold up. I know, I'm trying. I'm a good streamer. I'm a professional. I can do this. All right. I didn't break my game. Look at me go, Chad. I'm getting better. Oh! No, 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 no. See, I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. I'm telling you. I, You know, the old me, I would have let that run for five minutes. I would have even been embarrassed by it. But you know what? I'm human. And it's okay that I make mistake. It's okay that me, human, make error. We are no expert. We are... Sometimes, incorrect. 
Long live turkey stick. Thank you, pube police. Thanks for keeping our streets safe. Pube police, where the hell were you the last time my dad stayed at my apartment? He used the bathroom and found a fucking cinnamon strand on the toilet seat two days later. I needed you. The joke is that my dad is a redhead. Don't use that quote to make fun of me, out of context. That's immature. We're gonna kill him with this little thing right here because I'm good at this game. So good. I'm unreal at Oblivion. Honestly, it's an easy game. It's so easy. Just <laughs> skilled in all facets. Prediction, look at this, boom. Again, no problem. Did that on purpose. I gotta give the locks at least some victories every now and then, right? Make them feel a bit better. Mom, get the camera. Oh, that's right. This is the Bazongas Goblin. Arrogant Ark, my favorite Elder Scrolls DLC, uh, Shivering Isles. Night, Rue, Rue, Kelt, or Celt, Kelt. Good night. Protect the Emperor until help arrives. Help. What makes you think help will get here before? <laughs> Please say horse armor. I should have. No, he is not one of them. Who are you talking to? He can help us. He must help. This cannot. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our f I- Alright, what do we want to do here? Permanent bonus of 50 to Magicka is pretty good. 100 point bonus to Magicka, but 100% weakness to Magic. I kind of want to pick that one. I kind of want to just have a bunch of Magicka. I'm doing it. I'm taking the Apprentice. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Your stars are not mine. Today the Apprentice shall serve you at the Forge of Destiny. All right, come on. Let me skip. I, I just skipped twelve million dollars worth of dialogue. In that you may as well make your second uh, stint. Stick close and let us do our job, and you'll be all right. Come 
Come on, lads, let's get moving. Not much farther. I follow the Emperor's orders, but that doesn't mean I trust you. How do they not trust me at this point? Oh, it's probably the clothes I'm wearing. Are they going the wrong way? I think they're going the wrong way. Yeah, what the hell was that about? This guy's kicking my ass. Protect the Emperor! They Oblivion. just screamed the whole time. Like they keep compl they keep forgetting their orders, so they just have to scream every now and then so they don't forget. Hey, what was our job again, Boris? Protect the Emperor! Remember? This guy right here, he's right in front of us in the extravagant clothing. Hard to miss him. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Hmm. You're right, this wall looks incredibly suspicious. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save the Emperor on this run. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side! A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the emperor. Guard him with this one's mine. Take For him the down. emperor. All right, let's get some free XP. Ah! Some free XP real quick. I can go no further. Take the amulet. F Don't die on me. Don't. No. Oh, God. It's just, it never gets better. I thought we'd go down easy. No. Tell us, sailors. We failed. I failed. I failed. The blades are so. The amulet. Strange. They, they, they might. Yeah, he gave it to my dumbass. Joffrey, he's not. Although you may not think John, so, thank to for the bits. He lives quietly as a. It's a secret way out of. Why the is your work so city. amazing for the class selection? Here. Uh, are, I would assume they took uh, concept art probably and started throwing it in there. Or they they used uh, they used an AI online and asked it for Dungeons and Dragons uh, <laughs> descriptions or uh, drawings. Uh, we'll just go intelligence and willpower. We we'll go straight into our magic stuff. Acrobatics because movement. Athletics because movement. Alteration. I'm just gonna pick all the magic. Oh shit, I'm out. I'm out of options. I kind of want restoration. All right, fine. I won't pick restoration. Really? I guess by using restoration a lot, and gaining XP with restoration, thus not leveling up my character, 
will in turn make my character more powerful. Same with using short sword or blade. I wonder if picking those gives me, ooh, we do have other. So we have dispel, cold touch. I think that's better than flare. Yeah, so we'll throw that one on. Dispel in case we get hit by anything. Protect, ooh, that one sucks. At least it'll level, it'll level up our stuff. Soothing touch. It's your regular old calm spell. Summon skelly. Yeah, now we can just have our skeleton do all the work for us. Oh. Hey, come on, focus on the skeleton. Get him, Captain Bones. Damn. Okay, Captain Bones isn't fucking around. I don't know why we're calling him that, we just are. Nice. Captain Bones, 3 0. Oh. Unfortunately, he falls. Captain Bones, the second. Defend me. Valiant work. We're all very proud of you in the Union, Captain Bones. We do have some good acrobatics. Spleeble Fleep's adventure has now begun. Is that my Captain Bones? Oh, okay. I thought it was another one. Oh, here we go. This is the showdown everybody wanted. The heavyweight matchup of the se Can't just disappear on me. I can't hype up your battle. Oh my god, you lost? Captain Bones! You can't be getting upset by mud crabs, alright? I'm gonna have to let you go. This is not okay. Ellie, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. That was a killer combo. That might have been his best work. Oh, okay, he wants more. Let's go, Captain Bones. Oh, this guy's a badass. All right, he had one... He had one bad fight. We can't hold that against Captain Bones. Let's see how he deals against bandits. All right, bad start. Oh, really bad start. Archer to kill her friend. Alright. It took Captain Bones like four tries, but he got him. Press the offensive. <laughs> Press the offensive. All right, I have to be the blocker. I got to be in front. <laughs> nice work. Your service was commendable. Oh, I just scrolled chat. 
What mods am I using? None. 100% vanilla. Oh my gosh, I, I'm so used to playing on survival modes that require me to sleep. I like instinctually went to go sleep in the bed. Is that a guard? Ooh, hold on. This is a good opportunity for Spleeble Fleep to go hunting. Lots of deer laying around. Oh, you scared him away. How's Spleeble Fleep supposed to eat now? Oh, crap. Okay, we're just gonna have to run after him. I need my ranged attack back. Maybe I should use this one more. It moves so slow, it's hard to track. There we go, one down. Two pounds? That's aggressive weight. There we go. Connect. Got him. I'm a born hunter. I do love this game's music, but sometimes it's just a tad loud. Especially because I have to try and hear myself as much as I can. Oh, oh, but you send your stream over again. Thank you. We're just casually playing Oblivion right now. How'd your stream go? How are you? Thank you for sending everybody by. If you're not sure who I am, we like to play these games in really stupid ways. It's about the best way I can describe it. Is this a sexy stream? All of my streams are sexy because everyone in my chat is sexy. I think I'm just gonna venture into this dungeon, see what's going on here. Look at that tail. It looks so... Ugh. It just doesn't look right. You know? Hey, oh. Or skelly bones. Oh, I like this spell. Skelly bones comes in to finish him off. Skelly bones isn't too bad. It's nice to at least get some of the attention away from me. Yeah, it looks like a rat tail. Not like the... Not, not like the haircut. Relax, relax, relax. Die. Freeze. Freeze, foul one. Oh my God, there's two of them in here. Thank God their depth perception is awful. Hold on, there's somebody out here. Hello? Hello? Who's there? Your worst nightmare's here. His name is Spleeble Fleep. Where is this bandit? Hello? Alright, well, let's 
bullshit that he can see me and I can't see him. There he is, gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, I need you both to relax right now, right this instant. Wrong spell. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. I just had to lightly touch him. Gold trimmed shoes? Ooh, you know what? I like this robe too. I'm gonna take that robe. It's a little bit more fitting. How are these shoes looking? Nice. Look at those shoes. Good drip. I only came out here because I wanted to just wait an hour. Let all my stuff refill. Like I said, this game's easy. I'm too good at it. I say at level one on, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm just on standard difficulty at level one. I'm actually kind of struggling. Opinion on Oblivion level system? Um, I mean, it's fine for the most part. People think they're all vastly different, but pretty much every Elder Scrolls game at the end of the day is almost the same. You're rewarded early for the skills you invest in early. Although Oblivion's is a bit weird. Especially if you if you're like power leveling up your character, you're actually doing yourself a disservice. How the fuck are you alive? Unless this thing just magically spawns scams. Captain Skelly. Okay, all right, all right, he made it through. World Relch, thank you very much for the prime. What was the inspiration behind your name? Uh, I was in a garage band in high school. The garage band was named Juvenalia. I always thought that was kind of a cool name. And then we shortened it. He actually just died of fall damage. I've never seen that before. Oh! Get fucked. That one, that one actually got him good. I really, I'm really, really glad that they put this mechanism in here. Okay, that's ridiculous. Why don't you come after me on your own? Yeah. Doesn't feel so good to- okay. Uh, come on, fight me on uh, the platform. Uh, oh, that's gotta be it. That's the money shot. Too easy. Did I play in the garage band? Yeah, I play guitar. I'm not that good at it anymore. I'm like campfire level. That's what I would say my skill level is. I can pick it up and learn songs like the basics of playing, I remember. Like if I had to play just enough to convince somebody, oh yeah, I know how to play guitar. That's how much I know, like how to, how to play. Like if you ask me, I don't know how to play Wonderwall off the top of my head, but if we looked it up, then I could play Wonderwall. But I can't like shred or do anything crazy impressive. Great work, Shrek. 
great, great white shark. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is your first time here. We're actually not doing anything too crazy. We were going to continue the AI quest in Skyrim that we've been doing. But the AI was getting a little funky. It was kind of hard to direct the story and the gameplay in a way that was kind of fun. So hopefully it's not totally dead. But I elected to just keep the stream going and do something else for a little bit. I'll try and figure out that on my own time. So now we're just hanging out. Uh, not, not quite. We were, we were like creating our own lore using the AI and giving ourselves a really dumb quest to uh, try and follow. Yeah. If you're interested in reading up on it, exclamation point lore. <gasps> I gotta, I gotta get better <gasps> with blocking. Thank you, Captain Bones, for finally doing your job. Jeez. You don't get sneak attack bonuses for magic, do you? Either way, I'm getting caught. <laughs> I'm not getting out of that one. I can just walk through this whole dungeon, lightly touching each of my enemies. See, like this one. was so pathetic. Ugh. Whoa. Fortify fatigue pants? Absolutely. That's a great little find early on. Love that. Especially since I'm not going to be wearing armor. Blink tome. I don't remember how to use the tomes. Do you want to add blink to your spell list? Sure. Invisibility for five seconds. I guess that's not terrible. It looks like I get most of the magic spent on it back by the time it disappears. So it's not too bad. I can sneak around with it. Although it does give off a lot of light whenever I use it. That's kind of fun. Yeah, we were using chat GPT, but I think we're going to move it over to novel AI and try again. It was seven, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I was caught for a second. So I was able to get sneak on him. Die, don't die. Who that was close. It was very close to death. Mere inches away from death. I'm 
Varla stone worth a thousand? Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. You are who? Are Coach Coach Beck? I'm on the front page of Google. No, I'm not. Unless Google's having a really slow, uh, slow day. Who's there? Who should we put on our front page this week, boss? Oh God, I'm out of ideas. How about a niche uh, online personality that covers the Elder Scrolls? I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Why won't I die? Because I'm good at this game and I'm not afraid of you. There we go. That was big. We were able to push through the first one. And the second one. This is actually kind of a fun way to play. Managing the different spells and whatnot. And I'm leveling up. I don't know if I'm ready for level two. Another one of you bozos? Come on, bring it. I have to play more aggressively with this class. Ah, fuck. Won't happen again. Sorry, chat. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's the move. Okay, we have to throw in our Skeleton, get him to aggro, and then we can push the offensive and hit him with touch uh, destruction spells. I think that's got to be our main way in combat. At least, that seems like the strategy right now. Fishman looks hot. Motley, this fishman is gorgeous. In the right lighting, he's purple. I was thinking he was just pale. Thank you, kind sir. Citric Ninja, thank you so much for the tier one. Oh, Shaggy, I appreciate that. I hope the kid is sound asleep and they stay that way for the rest of the night. So that you don't have to do the whole, you know, put them to bed, put them to bed again. All that fun stuff, you know? Really? I tagged willpower and it's only a 35? That's actually really disappointing. We'll go with endurance. I need a, I need a health buff. Plus, it, it's a plus five. I'm not going to say no to the only plus five on the board. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, it's been like 12 hours since I got out of jail. You made a macro that pings me super fast? Um, that's weird. Please don't use that. Because that would be spam and spam is cringe. Am I going the right way or am I going the wrong fucking way? I'm going the right way, right? Oh man, I, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, in, in, in Skepta? Is that how I say that? In Skepta, thank you. I appreciate the kind words. That was a difficult video because it was something a little bit new that I'm not used to. 
but it was also really fun and i'm really glad people enjoyed it i appreciate that thank you he is cute all right no more hate on spleebo fleep he's a strong warrior who just happens to be a little bit unfortunate looking but that's part of his charm god i really went the wrong fucking oh my god <laughs> could you imagine if i died there Yeah, that was the hardest part was trying to write like the history into it. It just was it just was a different challenge, which if you've been watching the channel for a while, you kind of know that especially with like the can't leave challenges, I usually try to make them all feel different if I can. Because usually the goal is like if I put one out and a lot of people see it and they enjoy it and they want to watch others right like if they get to the second one or they're watching their third or fourth one in a row I want them all to feel different enough to where people aren't like I guess bored of it because I'll get bored of it you know if I do the exact same thing every time I'll eventually get bored of it and I know people really like the concept and like seeing how far things can be taken or like what dumb stuff we can find out or like any dumb little secrets. Harm's folly. I'm just walking into this house. What's your next move if a purple lizard walks into your house at 1030 at night? Maybe they'll be nice. If you're here to rob me, I'm afraid I have nothing left. Okay. All right. Fine by me. Won't rob you then. Nah, let's talk to him. Please, I implore you, help me avenge my wife's death. Barely a week ago, I left Harm's Folly to go buy supplies as I usually do once a month. What a fool I was to leave my wife alone. The goblins this guy's must have been me about watching his wife leaving, and in my head, right I'm going, to I'm going to go get some water. <laughs> I can hear Kayleen <laughs> scream from far away. You go ahead and finish your story away. about your wife's uh, terrible, wretched horrible uh, death, terrible Filthy tragedy animals. for your family, sir. Had I'm going to go been get there some to water, because uh, I'm thirsty, actually. Just kidding. I mean, I don't know if this really qualifies as water, but I have Aquafina here. I'm very sorry, Korik. What, how, how can I help you, man? I'll tell you how you can help. Kill those things, every last one of them. They destroyed everything I hold dear. Mm -hmm. In their greed, the creatures grabbed a jade mm -hmm. amulet off of Kayleen's body. Bring me back that amulet so I may use it to remember her by. Uh. All right, fine, fine. I'll help you avenge. God damn, you look tired. You get some sleep. Are there any rumors around town you're passionate about? Where does our food come from? The heartlands and the Nibonian Valley and Skingrad? Great wines, cheeses, and tomatoes. Mm. I bet all those wine, cheeses, and tomatoes would be great to enjoy with your wife. Ooh, wait. Uh-oh. That's why I'm here. Exhausted mine is not... <laughs> I'm exhausted with this conversation, Korik. Uh, oh my god, you guys lived that cl That's your fault. All right. You posted up your house next to an infested mine with monsters and scary things. I don't know what to tell you. All right, you moved here. There's a giant city with safety and walls and guards right there. Now, it's probably a little bit more expensive to live there, but... I don't know. I'm sorry, Korik. Truly. Bet your ass I'm putting that quest, mar quest marker on. Whoa! Oh, you won't be able to hurt me much. Oh, I am going to wipe out this cave so easily. 
Rest in peace, Skellyman. Your brother will remember you. Do you have any words you'd like to say to your fallen brethren? Come on, say something. You're giving the eulogy here. Oh. What? What is it? Oh, God! <laughs> they flanked us with a counterattack! I guess that's one way to honor his fallen brethren. Good for you. Touch. Touch. <laughs> Touch. Where are they? I must touch every goblin in here. Touch. Mega touch. I always love that sound effect. This is Oblivion ASMR. Ooh. You're all welcome for that. Uh, those aren't free, by the way. Ooh, gotcha. Touch. I want to meet the commander of this cave. You should be embarrassed for the army you've put forth. Touch. Touch. I am a golden god. Touch. Touch. <laughs> the last thing he saw was terrifying. <laughs> oh, it's still going? All right. More goblins to touch. Poke. Uh. <laughs> the positions they fall in are goofy as hell. All right. Let's go. Let's think about this tactically. You could get serious in here. You never know what the goblins are going to throw at you. Got a scout and a rat. Looks like the rat spotted us. Don't worry. With the touch of anti-rat, we're able to quell him. Oh, uh-oh. Sorry. Okay, that's not the big bad. One of these goblins is gonna give me some trouble. I just know it. Hold on, gotta prove to everybody how big of a gamer I am. That's how much. Sixty. Catch the silver vein while in midair. Three sixty. Clip that. Clip it, chat. Dodge him. Reverse. Touch. Clip it. Clip it. Oh my god! I'm turning this goblin cave into a fucking Call of Duty montage. Where's my uh, really shitty Skrillex edit? Too many hits, too many hits. This is not a clean clip. Ah. Dangled. Delete the game, uninstall. I mean, I'm just embarrassing them all. Block, reverse, 360, from behind. Oh, I missed, I couldn't clip it. Come on. Long attack, 
It's gonna teleport behind. Oh, God, I wanna finish it. Okay, you gotta go block, 360, and I gotta hit him in the back of his head. That's the, that's the clip we're going for. Come on. Long attack. Not too much. Oh. I gotta clean it up. If I'm gonna go pro in oblivion, I really gotta clean this up. Uh. Oh man, uh. that was it. Sick of his bullshit. Tired of it. That should be a block. I don't know how I'm not getting credit for that block. I'm over here complaining about the rules in Oblivion. Like, come on! This game is broken. How am I not getting that? A hit marker? Are you serious? Oh, a shirt. It's one of the rarest items in all of Oblivion, the burlap vest. Here we go. Now this is the boss. What an enchanting boss fight. Dropped Kayleen's amulet. I have to go all the way out the way I came, or is there a shortcut? I don't think there's a shortcut in here. No. We just gotta backtrack. That, my friends, is how you epic gamer your way through uh, all of Oblivion's content. 360s, no scopes, quick scopes, uh, any other kind of scopes in relation to competitive shooters? I know, I, <laughs> I'm thinking of Skyrim dungeons. I like the convenient exit. Although I'm pretty sure there's a few in Oblivion that have it. I want to say most of them do. Maybe they don't. I guess the last few times I've really gotten into playing Oblivion, I haven't done a ton of dungeon crawling. Mostly just playing through a lot of the quests in the overworld. Or like up top. Anything I could do in the cities, right? Because the only Oblivion videos we've done were Bruma and the Imperial City. And both of those, naturally, we couldn't really investigate any of the caves. Well, well, look who we've got here. Ah! He forgot who he was fucking with. Great White, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'm kind of cool. Am I? Am I cool? Is that what people are saying? Get the fuck out of here. What? I'm not cool. I'm not cool. Stop. You're cool. Uh, his door's locked? Come on, let me in, bro. I just avenged your wife. Let me into your house. It's perfectly reasonable. 
Let me let me ask you guys a question, chat. If you hire a hitman, if you hire a hitman to do a job for you, because I, I mean I know goblins don't have rights, but I did just murder a bunch of goblins, so I am technically a hitman. If you hire a hitman and you pay them to avenge a lost loved one, and they get the job done, would you be upset if they broke into your house to tell you they completed the job? I don't think so. Get up. The fuck up. What news do you bring me from exhausted mine? Then it's finally done. The goblins have paid with their blood, and my wife's brutal slaying is avenged. You risked life and limb for a cause that wasn't your own. For that I'm grateful. Please, accept these gems as a token of my gratitude. Thank you, Korak. They're all I have left of value, but you must have them. I insist. Thank you. It means a lot to me. What'd you give me, though? Topaz? Is that even good? Ah, oh, hold on, hold on. What's Topaz? Ten? You will be included in my prayers forever. May the divine smile upon you. By the nine divines, assault! Assault! Sixty gold. That's what she thought that was worth? Idiot. <laughs> Who do you think Spleebelfleep is? Spleebelfleep is not one to be ripped off. on the chapel there no i haven't what's happened all the priests slaughtered he's gonna scream the no chapel desecrated by the gods without question is it true that samuel bantian okay never mind i thought it, one of one of the responses that the guard will give in that conversation is just no he'll just scream but yeah, that character is a douchebag. That guard? Total dick. I'm never too busy for good talk. What can I do? I do have a bed. Very good. Good you. Thief! You won't get away with this! Put that back, you worthless thief. You treacherous little filcher. How dare you steal from me? Thief! You won't get away with this! Put that back! You treach- Go! Put, stop! Put that thief! Somebody help! Come quickly! Thief! Somebody help! Come stop. quickly! Thief! We've got a burglar! You treacherous little filcher! How dare you steal from me? You don't even work here! It's all over, lawbreaker. <laughs> Your spree is at an end. Uh, oh, 11? That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. Again, that's okay. a wild fucking thing to say. I picked up a couple wine bottles. Maybe I moved a cup. That's too bad. I was hoping I could kill you right here and now, scumbag. How dare you fucking look at me? Pay your hey, fine? You? What are you, a coward? Hmm? Good morning. Fight what? me like a man I one on one you. right here. I want blood. Please join me. Really? Oh, we're cool now? Are we friends now? Hey, hey they're not mad. Somebody help! Come quickly! We've got a burglar! Put that back, you well. I'm never too busy for good talk. There's something strange about the head of Lenormand. <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch! It's the same guard from before. That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. Okay, here's the procedure. I need that one song. Where's the... where's that one song I got? 
The help stop maneuver. I don't know. I don't think I have it downloaded. Do I not have it downloaded? I might not. Damn. I need that song. Wait, hold on. I got it. I got it. I, 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 I posted it on Twitter once. I just have to scroll back for it. I have to scroll kind of far back for it, to be honest. I'm going to find it, though. Where? Oh, where? Oh. Search by media. It's even better. Hold on. I'm getting there. Oh, I got it. Okay, I found it. Okay, here you're doing. Whoa. Uh, okay, here you're doing. Why is it skipping? Okay, here you're doing. Pissing me off. You're doing. Stop. Procedure. This is the part where you fall down and stop. I keep skipping. Okay. Okay. Here you're doing. Stop. Why is it being so difficult? I'm just trying to play a video. All right, whatever. Screw it. It won't work then. I am a little bit heartbroken though. I wanted to listen to it. All right, I need to go somewhere and sleep. Because then Lucien Lachance is going to come after us. I feel like there's been a growing fandom that's been saying Good morning. it's Lachance. But doesn't he say in game Lachance? My ear, citizen. Good morning. How goes it? Go ahead. You've all. Oh, I've already rented the room. We're all good. Oh, well. Sweet. Fun fact, there's a love letter right here. I can't wait to see you tonight. My every day is spent thinking about when we will next be together. Soon, we will be married, and we can be together forever. Your true love. Maybe I should give this to the owner. Maybe it's his letter. Oh, and never mind. I can't bring it through the portal. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. You'll need a clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. I never heard this pitch before. In due time, and at then heed my words, for I will not repeat them. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the Inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. Kill him, and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Dudu, please stop tagging me and do asking this. me to do things. And the next time you sleep I appreciate in a location the, I deem um, secure, I appreciate I will the passion. Yourself once more, bearing the love. Of your new family. But need you to take a chill pill. Excellent. All right, fine. I'll kill Rufio. Now, please accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade and thirsts for blood. <laughs> May it serve your endeavors. I already well. got a virgin blade, Lucian. I'm good. Now, <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need another one. <laughs> your path is clear. Say Funny innuendos. Well met. All right, I'm going to create a heinous crime and attempt to escape the city without dying. Put that back, you work. Go, go, go. Run. Clear out. 
Check our corners. Are we being followed? Oh crap, he's coming after us. One of them's locked in. Go invisible? There's no way he can get us. Just gotta stay invisible. There's no way he tries it, right? A grand heist! <laughs> yes. Hey, right, well, we gotta get out of town. The spell is actually really good for if I if you want to just train sneak over and over. Let's see if we can fast travel. Still sneaking away from the guard. I am in the clear. Woo! A daring escape. They're going to be talking about this one for a while. No, 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 not anus crime, heinous crime. And did you hear the reaction of that innkeeper? Shaggy, thank you very much. Have a good night. What's on tap? Unless you've already headed out. But either way, I appreciate it. Have a good night. You know, stranger, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight. Well, I've fought and I've lost. Who did I lose to? Who is my great enemy? Well, don't laugh. It's a bunch of damn fish. Yeah, I'm going to laugh at him. <laughs> ah, see, I knew you'd laugh. Some big hero you are. You're all the same. How do you even know I'm Nothing a hero? Nothing to do but laugh like, at an I'm old man and his one. troubles. I don't understand what I did. Come back to laugh at the pathetic old man, have we? Is he not going to give me his quest now? Help! Help! I'm being attacked! I give up. Oh. I don't think anyone saw. Oh crap, maybe I was the fish he was talking about. You need something special? Check out my wares. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? He doesn't even have anything cool. There's much I can show you. Walk always in the shadow of Sith. Welcome to the Warnet Inn. Have a look around. Beer, you beer, won't find better booze, prices more food. Have a fine journey and keep... I thought I was going to leave that door and there would be a guard standing right there. I was ready for it. bummed that uh, the whole thing with the AI earlier kind of crapped out I had a feeling it would and I should have honestly planned like a backup in case it did because I knew that I probably wasn't going to rewrite and and do a whole bunch of stuff to try and keep that story moving forward I'm, I'm, I'm still learning how to like react on the fly and do stuff like that on streams it's not as easy as you might think it gets a little stressful sometimes trying to get something like that going but uh that is that's gonna be all for me tonight let's raid over to our friend don stick around for that please if you would that would be very nice of you where is have i seen the pizza delivery mode for oblivion i know that somebody made a mod where you can actually order a pizza i don't know how it works exactly though but i think it is working 
I'm going to send you over to my friend Don. He plays Racket League. Um, I think he he's either playing or he is casting it. One of the two. But thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, we'll talk soon. Again, hopefully we don't have to do the streams as late as we have been doing them. Uh, we'll talk soon. Alrighty then. I'll probably put this on the second channel again as like something scuffed. When's the console doors coming out? It will come out when we have a video. The next, the next video we have involving the randomizer is when we'll let it out into the public. We'll talk soon. Appreciate y'all. Thank you again for the support. And we'll chat soon.